what you say. We ask that you bless the shepherd and his wife and his family, Lord, so we can continue to do kingdom work, Lord. We ask that you bless everyone under the sound of my voice, God. We need a word today that will change us and make us better disciples. We love you, we praise you, we worship you. In your mighty name of Jesus, amen.
subject, lessons my daddy taught me. Lessons my daddy taught me. Y'all can be seated. Lessons. Uh, my daddy taught me. My, my um, father's parents were born in Jamaica. Yama. My, my father was born in Panama. I was born in Los Angeles. My father passed at the age of 98 years old. And I just want to share, if y'all don't mind, some practical lessons he taught me, but I want to share the lessons utilizing the prodigal son narrative. Yes, so the curtains open up on the text with a father's youngest son asking for an inheritance he didn't deserve. Legally, the father didn't even have to have this conversation with him. But he chose to have a dialogue with his son to hear his son's heart, even though his son's heart was detached from reason. And then because the father couldn't reason with him, because the father knew his son's mind was stuck on stupid, the father does the hardest thing any father can do. He agreed to allow his son to fail now so he wouldn't fall later. God, 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 hear me clearly. The father allowed his son to fail with full knowledge it was going to happen. Don't miss it. Love isn't always about bailing your kids out. But love is not always stopping the train wreck. Love, love is not always removing the obstacle. Darian, love is not always keeping the training wheels on. Sometimes the only thing you can do is to give godly, sound advice and be there to pick up the pieces without saying, I told you so. Uh, uh, so. So the father was willing to let his son fail now so he wouldn't have a worse fall later. So I asked my father, what lesson do you see in this text right here? And my father said, always know the difference between failing and falling. To fail means to try without succeeding initially. To fall is the act of collapsing from a higher plane to a lower level without the ability to stop yourself. So the father was saying, I would rather my son fail now, try now, and not succeed with the possibility of succeeding at a later date. They just set him up to fall later because if he falls later, he may not be able to recover from the height he's falling from. The father in the narrative seems 
You want them to learn to stop focusing on what you feel you are entitled to. Oh, yeah. But rejoice in the fact that whether you get it or not, my sis, your father has the capacity and the resources to make it happen. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I asked my father, I said, what did you get from this right here? He said, oh. <laughs> he said, well, since the father has the capacity and the resources to make it happen at any time, then you ought to embrace the theology. God, anyway you bless me, I'll be satisfied. God, 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 God. If I get what I want, fine. If I get what you want from me, fine. If it, if it works out the way I want it, fine. If it works out the way you want it, fine. If, if I blow up, fine. If, if don't nobody know me, fine. If, if, I, if, 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 if only you know my name, fine. If, Denise 
to make choices for us. And it went something like this. Heads you win. Tell y'all uh -huh, tells you lose. Fast forward to the text. The text says, while the younger son was out doing his own thing, a famine came and his friends left. God is trying to show us that before every shift to do the next level, before you begin to walk in the newness that God has for you, there's going to be a turnover in those you thought were your friends. God. In other words, you really don't know who your friends are until your coin flips. God, God, then you find out who your friends are when you all tell you. You find out who your friends are when the family hits you. You find out who your friends are when your surroundings change and your financial status changes and your walk with God changes. And if you shift that mind from what your friends have in mind for you, they are going to be gone. So I ask my father, what yes. lesson yes. do you have? My father says, um, as you go to your next level, Ricky, um, as you begin to walk in the newness, you should also expect an exodus. He said, instead of allowing toxic people, places, and things to continue to attach themselves to us, God will sometimes cut off an infection to keep it from spreading. So Ricky, the question you have to ask yourself is, here it is, what's that? Would you rather be cut and cured or hold and hurt?
Your celebration should be twofold. Your celebration should be number one. Just because you didn't, doesn't mean you couldn't. Celebration number two is refuse to allow what you almost did to supersede what you actually did. Okay. While you <laughs> while you almost quit, you actually finished the course. <laughs> while, while you almost dropped out, you, you actually graduated. While, while you almost proved the loan application in the trash, you, you actually bought a house. While, while you almost left the marriage, you, you actually made it work. While you Why, why didn't he send some 
because the son was worth it. I don't even know why y'all piggy on that. Huh? That is for y'all. The, the reason why God waited on you, God told me, was because you was worth it.
rest. Get my yoke upon you and learn of me. For my yoke is easy and you will find rest unto you. So I am challenging all of you right now, both in person and online, to come home. To give God your ways of trying to be super successful. Your, your way of trying to make everybody proud of you. Your, your way of trying to live up to expectations nobody put on you but you. Your, your way of thinking you have to have all the answers. Your, your way of trying to have what everybody else has. Your way of uh, trying to make sure all your eyes are dotted and all your T's are crossed. Your way of competing with people who are not competing with you, your, your, your way of wanting things to be perfect in an imperfect world. I'm, I'm challenging you to come home and, um, and, and give God your weight and, and, and see if God will not open a window for you out of blessing. And you won't even have room to receive. These are just some lessons that my daddy taught me. God, I thank you. Thank you for your word. I pray that it has landed on fertile soil. Pray that they will accomplish all that you sent them out to do. Thank you for waiting on me. Thank you for waiting for us. Thank you for not changing on us. Thank you for not moving on us. Thank you for being the immutable God, the unchanging God.
us to the cell number, put an email address. You want to join Destiny? Just put, I, I need Destiny. You want to give your life to Christ? Just put, I need God. You want to come up under cover? Just put, I need cover. And put your cell number, put an email address, and someone will touch base with you within the next 24 to 48 hours.